Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are going to make some traditional peppermint bark. What you need is a um, cookie sheet right here, and I have parchment paper on it right there. And what I use, I have this chocolate melting um, maker, and it melts my chocolate. But what you can do is you can take a kettle and then put a bowl on top of the kettle, put some water in the kettle, and then just stick it like this in the bowl and it will melt, once the water's hot, it will melt your chocolate. Well, and what else you need is some chocolate almond bark and some vanilla almond bark and some candy canes. And I'm just going to show you everything that we have. And I forgot to get my tortilla roller. So hold on. I'm not going too far. Just into the kitchen. We need something to break up these candy canes. Right? You can use a hammer or a food processor or whatever. But you can just go like this. You can leave your pieces big or small. And I will do it a little bit more, but I don't want to hurt your ears. So then what you want to do, I'm going to take some vanilla right here, bark. Sometimes I can break it, sometimes I can't. I think I'm going to use one of those. And then what I'm going to do, take the chocolate. I opened everything so it would be easier and quicker. Take some chocolate like this. There's a lot here that we've got to spread. So I'm going to use this whole, whole bark. I hope I don't need it for anything else, but we're going to make a nice tray of peppermint bark. And I'm doing it with a Grammy twist. So once this all gets melted, I'll bring you back to show you how I put it together. Okay, folks, you don't need to see me in here. This is all melted now. Look at this. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this right on. Just like this. Just let her go right on everywhere. Make your own creativity, that's what I do. You can mix it up. I'm gonna put a link above where I've got a loaded one. It's called um, Grammy's Traditional Loaded Twist Peppermint, I think. But I'll put a link in so you can go check that one out. It's got M&Ms and peanuts and all sorts of stuff. But. Not everybody can have all that yumminess now, so I'm just sticking more of a traditional so that everybody can have and will enjoy. I'll be starting my making cookies and candies and all different stuff coming up in between some crafts and gifts. So like I always say, you never know what's gonna be on my videos. I just love this chocolate melt melt i guess it's called chocolate maker that's what it says chocolate maker i just love it you can walk off and go and leave it and you can, once it's melted you can put warm or off on it okay so once that's all done we're just going to take a spatula and we're just going to put put some even it out on the pan here I'm gonna be pretty busy here in the next couple of days. I just got an order today from a lady that's been uh, one of my customers for many, many years for jam. So, <coughs> excuse me, still got that darn cough. I got a big order going out with that. I mean, it's really big. So, I'll be busy making that and keeping up with YouTube. Got to keep my YouTube going. I just love all my subscribers. There. Because you're going to break this apart anyways once you 
um, let it cool down and I'll show you how I break it apart. Don't have to worry about it. You can put it in the freezer for a little bit or you can put it outdoors if you live in a climate that's cold like I do. And it is cold. We got seven inches of snow coming in and then we had another storm right behind it. Okay, that's that with a Grammy's twist. Ray's not here to lick the spatula, so guess what? I got it. I melted the white in the microwave. Each microwave is different. Um, mine is 1100 watt, and it took about two minutes for, let's see, about one cup, or in some places would call this hot here almost a quarter of a liter right there and then here's the cup side try to get it without a glare okay like i said we're going to do this for the grammy twist just kind of go like this where it stops nobody knows and neither do i i'll just kind of do my own thing i love doing my own thing my kids will say oh gosh mom did you really have to i'm like well you know me do my own thing now i just thought of this i wasn't going to do it but I am now. I'm just gonna take a skew. Kinda go like this, you don't have to. But I want to. That's just the way I am. See what I'm talking about with, you never know with me, with a Grammy twist. You just swirl it all around. That's what it makes interesting when you come to my channel. You never know what you're going to see or what I'm going to be doing. And to be honest, I don't know either. I'm thinking in my head all the time. Inside, what I'm going to do, what I'm not going to do. Outside the box a little sometimes. Yeah. I kind of like that. How about you? So we're gonna call that good on that. And then we're gonna take the crushed candy canes so I didn't have to hurt your ears. I put them in a Ziploc bag. And I like to make mine all sizes. I don't like to smush it down because when I have something, I wanna be able to taste it. I don't want no little cavity filler, as I call it. When I, I want the whole thing, I want some of it, I want to be able to get the taste of it all. Now this will be gifted out for family and friends. And if Ray's real good, Ray will get some to take to go to work. And if he's not, he'll just get a whole bunch of lump of coal to take to work and let him explain that to his coworkers. I don't think I'm gonna be using all this. And that's a good thing about putting it in a Ziploc because you can save it for later for when you have another project coming. And I'll be having lots more coming up. Just like that. And I'm going to call this good. So I'll bring you back when I break it all up and put it in a container. Okay, I put this outside and it was done within 15 minutes. Make sure you got nice clean hands. I always like to give it a little clank. And then you just start breaking it. Just like this. She's really frozen. It's okay. Like I said, this is going to be gifted to many people. that is 
also get a few more here out on the tray. And then I'll bring you back. I'm going to um, finish breaking this up. So if you please give me a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it because you never know what's going to be on my videos. And I'll show you the plate that I started on right here. And when I come back, I'll show you the ending result and have a taste. Okay, folks, there it is right there. How beautiful is that? Peppermint bark with a gran Grammy twist. So I'm going to bring you up a little bit. Hold on. Hi. So here it is, all done. Doesn't that look delicious? I will be bagging this or putting it in a tin for family and friends for Christmas. So, you know, you never know what's going to be on my videos. Please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't. Show YouTube. And there's a lot going on here at Maniac Grammys. So, um, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I can upload and download with the storm. So, everybody have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. I forgot. I put one in my mouth and the camera stops. So, I'm going to try it again. Mmm. Here we go. Thumbs up. Tastes really, really good. You never know what's going to be on my videos. Yummy treats. Bye now.